Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and welcome to Hashtag Tag Tuesday. So I'm working on a couple of tags today, but first I just want to say this is an open collab that um, anyone's uh, you know welcome to participate in. Just let me know. I'll add you to my participant list, list which is in my description box. Um, and then you'll add my channel to your description box or tag me in an Instagram post and um, just use the hashtag, uh, hashtag Tag Tuesday. And what we do is uh, just make tags, any tag, size, theme that you want, and just jump in any Tuesday. We do it every week, so it's pretty much a no-brainer. Like, if it's Tuesday and you want to do tags, go for it, right? <laughs> so um, I'm working on these two tags, and uh, um, let me look at my camera and make sure everything's working. I have had some technical difficulties this morning and so that's why I'm kind of like part way through these tags so let me show you they're kind of a large tags and I'm making them to go along with my flea market journal for the flea market journal challenge they are backed with file folder they are on top of that I have a piece of linen which I glued down with art glitter glue and then I sewed around with black thread I added silver, you can see them on both, eyelets on both of these, and then I added a strip of paper. These are gonna be a combination of fabric and papers. So I've got paper on both and fabric on both, and that's where I'm at, you're all caught up. <laughs> so um, next I was going to, actually I was looking at this fabric here, and it looked like it would look so perfect down here. This, this right here that looks like it's been stenciled on with gold um, kind of gold paint or something uh, these are the fabrics I picked up and showed you last thrifty Thursday so I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of this off and a lot of this type of fabric has been kind of uh, you know easily frayed and like a non a fray that I don't want <laughs> you know what I mean kind of a uh, not a uh, standard fray it's just kind of like all over crazy fray on the edges so I'm cutting it with my pink pinking shears to lessen the fray so let me straighten up this edge here and then let me see okay so that'll fit all the way across there and let me put another one over here I'm trying to do these different the only thing that's different so far is the paper <laughs> so they're kind of like the same but it's very slightly different so let me see if I can cut this piece here for the second one a little different I don't know if I can but we'll see yeah okay yeah that looks pretty See, it's a little shorter so it's a little different this one goes all the way across and I'm trying not to cover up my stitching all this is going to cover up a little stitching this one is not I could cut it shorter but I'm not worried about it and then I do want to cut a piece of something for the top here and I, I like what I used because it was thin enough to fit through the hole and tie. I was able to tie a little bow with it. And that was a piece of this right here. It also has like that gold looking paint on it, but it's uh, different. It swirls instead of like, this is like more of a floral kind of botanical uh, look. So let's see, let me get a piece because this one had just a little bit of the gold on it and some burgundy and this one if I cut a piece, let's see, where did I cut last time? Over here. So if I cut a piece down this side, I'll get more of that gold, gold swirl on there. So let's do that real quick. And we'll see where we end up with these. I kind of knew what kind of pieces I wanted to use here, but didn't know exactly how I was going to put them down or put them together. So keeping my fingers crossed for my camera now. <laughs> I know what I need to do to fix it. I just don't want to take the time to fix it right now. So I'm just trying to get this done and then fix it maybe. We'll see. There's a couple different ways to fix it, but I just don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's see. So I'm, I'm pinking sheared both ends and then this side is just the original uh, straight side there. Pretty well. Oh, it was cut with scissors, wasn't it? It's not the original side. 
So, but it's a little, um, it's not exactly straight, but it's not, like it's straight, but not perfectly straight. You know what I mean? So I'm, but I'm not worried about it. It's nice and long, and I'm going to cut it, uh, tie it in a bow like I did over there. First, let's um, glue down this. I've been using my art glitter glue on most of these fabrics because I was afraid the uh, fabric tack might show through. So, <clears throat> let's see, I think this is the, I think this is the front a little more shimmer in this gold and this looks like less shimmer on this side so I'm going to assume this is the back and put some glue here I'm going to put it right on the fabric and that way I won't get too much on there oops there's a little crumb there fabric crumb <laughs> that I don't need on there so as you can hear I'm still recovering my voice is still recovering from my laryngitis I never actually lost my voice so yay but um still it's not normal <laughs> yet okay so let's see this is shimmerier over there so here's the back let's get this one glued down well at least i saved some time on my video by getting all that done and then having t technical difficulties and that always shortens a video when you have to just kind of catch up <laughs> and start a new video so <clears throat> all right so i've got um I've got the base is the linen and the and the file folder and then I've got three pieces on top of that let's go ahead and get this on there and let's see how do I want to do it and we'll be done with that and then I'm going to add a focal point that's the plan and we'll be done so pretty quick right <laughs> all right so let's see and I tied a bow because I'm putting this long piece in there we'll see if this one is just as long as that other one but if it is, which I think it will be, I'll tie a bow in this one too. I do like my tags to be flat so they can fit into pockets or tuck spots, usually, especially on the bottom part. And um, let's see, let me get this kind of pulled up here. And then, uh, and then have writing space on the back. Well, this was not as, sh as long as the other one, I don't think. I could tie a bow. Uh, let's see, I think I will try to turn this one around, this piece, so that I can see that, you know, what I'm calling the painted swirls. Painted swirls. Yeah, I'm just, um, if I'm talking a little quiet, my voice is still recovering. So, <clears throat> maybe not talking my usually, you know, maybe at my usual volume, but trying to make sure you can hear me okay. Uh... All right, so I'm going to leave it like that. If I want to tie a bow later in that one, I will, but I just kind of, well, it's not wanting to turn around for me, is it? Let me really twist it. There we go. I think that might do it. There we go. Okay, so I was thinking about, like, I pulled out, I have my postage stamps over here, and I pulled out these two right here because they're really colorful, and they'll stand out on the, on the tags. I wanted to put... I kind of wanted to put something behind them a little bit, so I thought maybe a piece of this. It also has some gold on it, but this is not, you know, paint or anything. It's just kind of a pretty gold uh, texture there, and it's floral. So I'm going to cut this. Let me see. Where's my fabric scissors? I'm going to cut this in half and see what we can do with this behind. I'm picturing it behind these stamps, so something like that and then the stamps could go like that possibly and this one too let's see let me turn it this way and nope 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 oh I like that okay so maybe something like that over here mm -mm -mm -mm. let me try it like this Got a little bit of a wrinkle in it. Yeah, no, it needs to be down here. Maybe like that. All right, that I like that that way. Maybe put this up in here too. Oh, I do think I like that better. Okay, so it'll be like a background for my stamp. Okay. And, oh, I did want to try 
putting a little distress ink on here real quick. I kind of meant to do that before. Let me move this for a second. I meant to do that before on this paper right here before I glued it down and I totally forgot. So I'm just gonna do a little messy, messy distressing here. And then this will stand out a little better too. And maybe give it a little bit more of a finished look. All right, there we go. We'll put that back on there. Yeah, that does look good. Okay, and now this one, a little bit around here, just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. Let me pick it up so I can get it at a less awkward angle here. <laughs> Yeah, I've been working on the pages. <clears throat> working on the pages for my flea market journal, challenge journal. And I've got all the pages except for two that I'm waiting for them to dry because there are two pages I picked out that were, or papers, that were white on the back. So I coffee dyed them. <laughs> so I'm waiting for those to dry. And then I'll be, then I'll have all the pages done for my flea market junk journal. Okay, let's see now. I also pulled out, did I pull it out? Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, I thought maybe a butterfly. So, you know, the, these are gonna be for the flea market journal, which is all free Dollar Tree or thrifted items, which all of these items are. And these little butterflies right here were gifted to me, so they were free. So I can use, I think they're legal to use. I'm gonna say they are. So I thought maybe I'd add a butterfly here somewhere. Uh, if they, if I think it looks nice, I pictured it in my head. So <laughs> now if I can just get it on here. So let me move this down a little. And this could fit right up here. Possibly like that. There's a green one. Let's see what other colors I have <clears throat> real quick. Let's see here. See, these are, these, I th think they may have given me these two, but I'm not sure. So I'm trying to steer away from those. Okay, so here, oh, that's, that would be much prettier there. It would go with the colors. I do want it to stand out if possible, but it doesn't have to really totally stand out. It can blend in too. I really like the red in that one. So if I can, well, it doesn't have to be straight, does it? Let me. I'm like, it's trying to be crooked. Let me see. Maybe it should be crooked instead of straight. <laughs> you know what I mean? And here we go. All right. So that's that one. Let me see. Let me just make sure uh, about this one. I like that red. So here's some with blue and green. Here's some with pink. That would probably be not go, really. I mean, if I really wanted it to, I mean, really, you could just put anything in on there that you want. You know what I mean? And make it go but um, but uh, in the in the moment that one blends in this one stands out let's see we've got green which would really stand out uh, oh that's kind of turquoisey though this is green I kind of don't like that one but this is kind of uh, aqua almost kind of a distressed aqua I like that um, green one, the way it stands out like that, though. Let's see. There's quite a few in here, and I don't want to go through them all. But <laughs> here's the one I already have. I don't want to use the same one. Let me just grab a couple more and make sure, because, you know. Okay, that one, I don't think it's too, too much, and that's the same one there. This one, oh, let me see this one real quick, because there's a lot... There's a lot of gold in here, you know, with the swirls and everything. So this butterfly has a lot of gold in it. It would add a lot to it, but uh, I'm not sure about it, though. I know when I do this, it's like always like 
when I look back on it on video, I'm like, oh, that looked good, Sherry. Why didn't you use that? You know what I mean? I think I'm going to go with this one, though. It stands out, but uh, it kind of it kind of goes, too, at the same time. Even though it's kind of a different color than anything else, I just, for some reason, I think it goes. So I think I'm going to go with it. All right, so I might, I think I might have enough pieces on here now. I wanted to have at least three, so that's uh, besides the base. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's an, uh, an even number, but uh, I'm just going to go with it. You know, they say odd numbers are better, but if I find something else, I, mean, I might put it on there. So let's see, this has kind of got that gold on both sides. So I don't know, it doesn't probably doesn't matter which side I put the glue on here. Again, going with that art glitter glue. And so let's get this down. So yeah, I hope you'll check out the participants. And uh, they're all in my description box. And if you want to join in, please, please do. I always want to encourage you to join in. Because I know there's, you know, even though you do video, t YouTube videos, you might be a little um, hesitant to get involved. But um, it really is fun to be involved if you've never been involved, especially, and get to know people. And, you know, I always subscribe. If it's somebody I'm not subscribed to that wants to participate, I, as soon as I realize I'm not subscribed, I'll go and, and subscribe. Let's see, this is going to go here. Let me, let me put this on quick. There's a gnat in here that is about to drive me insane <laughs> if it doesn't get out of my camera view here where I'm trying to craft. <laughs> That's funny. Not funny, but not funny. <laughs> okay, so this is a really large stamp. I don't know if I have any others this big. Let's see, I want to make sure. Do I want it crooked? Or I think it wants to go in a little crooked. There he is. Go away, Mr. Gnat. I know I have a, um, I watch TV on a touch screen t computer in my bedroom, right? <laughs> and it's, uh, if a gnat or something like that gets in there, I'm trying to watch TV, like stream, you know, watch TV, and a gnat will get in there and land on my screen and completely mess everything up. Like I have to get up and go and fix it because it's just like, you know, bringing things up on the screen and touching things on the screen and I'm like okay you are going to be have a short life if you don't get out of here <laughs> you're gonna have a very short life it's gonna be ended very soon if you don't get out of my screen okay so there's that one and so let's finish off this one Okay, so I hope everyone has a good day. I know I'm about to finish this up, so I hope that uh, you're not sick. <laughs> you're not getting this going. I heard it was going around, like when I um, was starting to get sick, you know, with this laryngitis, my friend says, oh, my husband has it too. I hope I didn't give it to you because she's not sick. And she's like, my husband has it too. I think it's going around. I'm like, I'm sure you didn't give it to me, you know. But um, anyway, I just hope it's not going around. That, you know, always sucks. You know, because it's the type of thing that everybody gets in a different way. You know, like I got in my throat and laryngitis. Somebody else might get a sinus infection. Somebody else might get just a cold. So it's that type of thing that everybody... Um, gets their gets it in their own way <laughs> type of thing so I, I think that's what happens anyway because I always get it in my throat and my friend always gets a sinus infection when something's going around like the summer cold or whatever this is okay so this is gonna go right up here I think this is perfect I'm glad I put more than three pieces and I don't really feel like I need anything else if I did, I would put it probably down here somewhere, like a little label or something, or some words. I put a word down here. After the video, I'm, I don't want to take any more time on the video, but 
after the video. See, this is the butterflies with the kind of double wings, so you can kind of fluff them up. And they can still fit in the pocket because everything's flat down here. But yeah, I might look for a little word or see if I want to print something out on my label maker or something. So anyway, that's a lot of writing room and nice big uh, tags for my flea market journal. So I will see you in my next video, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Everybody have a great day, and happy crafting.